Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalover, and this is the world in 1894. So, as we established last time, Southeast Asia is a great place. I've done quite a few things off screen, um, especially now that we're making a little bit of money, but you might be wondering, how do we do that? Well, uh, we're at war with China, but we'll go to the war with China and stuff once uh, I explain how we make some money, and maybe a few comments as well. Oh, uh, Bulgaria. So, basically... With Southeast Asia, I took over that little province here. Was it Laos? I don't know if it was Laos. Maybe it was Laos. And they were in the German, not the German sphere, but the British sphere. So I'm like, okay, we'll risk it. Took them out. Nothing really happened. Uh, let's see, there was a few decisions here, but nothing really interesting. Most of it was just like African farms and mines, which we've seen plenty of times already. Burn the Summer Palace. Oh, organized Vietnam's production, of course. Uh, we need expressionism. Uh, anything else here? Not really too much, no. Uh, let's see, anything else? There was one comment f for asking me. To take out all of Indonesia and take out Java, which I want to. Which, actually, I really, really want to. But my ships have actually been struggling quite a bit here. I mean, these ships. Oh, and we have battleships here, too. Uh, that is because I left left these ships with the budget to not be able to reinforce that well. So, I lost quite a few ships. Actually, I lost all my transports. Most of them. Almost all of them. So, basically, with the budget... Okay, so here's the deal. I'm still learning the game a little bit. I'm not perfect at it. And this is this is Africa, which actually isn't too bad, seeing as we were able to get all this, as well as this. Actually, I had to basically use cons command. So basically, over here, with this is Adamawa. Adamawa. So I was trying to colonize this, as well as the British, but I was also trying to colonize this area, too. Zambia, and the Brits were as well. So I figured, you know what? How about we each get one place? So I gave the Brits this Zambia region in exchange for Adamawa, just because I thought it'd be a fair exchange. They get one, I get one. I didn't really care where it really happened, and I thought this would look better overall for the borders. So that's not too bad. We basically have, you know, Namibia, French Namibia, even though the Germans are supposed to own that historically. Uh, we're still trying to contest the Germans down here, which I'll probably just give it to them so it looks a little better. Uh, so yeah, then I then I took this area too, just because it makes more sense for us to be actually. We would still be connected, barely, but we'd still be connected regardless. So I just thought that looked a little better, but the budget. That's the biggest thing here. And actually, I, I want to be able to take this too. Actually, let's just take a Bombarda. Can we take a Bombarda? Well, we have no justification for it, so whatever. So here's the thing. It's basically mid-game. Now we're approaching relative late game. The thing you want to do is cut down on your industrial subsidies eventually, because that was the thing that was costing us the absolute most amount of money. You do not want to do industrial subsidies for everything. I'm still doing some industrial subsidies, just because I think we should have like a good amount of areas in the country where I think that we want to make sure that are generally okay for, for us and that uh, we have I mean using subsidies is slightly you know protectionist policy minded I guess but really I have in some industrial subsidies so that we have workers in specific regions that I want to make sure that is okay for example our capital I don't want rebels in our capital so I figured you know what Ilia de France or Paris or whatever it's called let's see so Ilia de France I made us have actually quite a few subsidies here just because I want this place to be okay and I actually want like other immigrants or migrants from like what was known as Belgium, what was known as parts of the Netherlands come into here and uh, make sure when the rebels rise that no one really rises up here if they're doing okay. So we're still using some subsidies. I put like one factory per region, maybe one or two, to make sure that they have subsidies so this way we want to encourage migration to those places and that way we don't have a ton of unemployed workers so if we take a look here. We've <laughs> Normandy. I made one area here have like enough factories, so or make sure one of these guys has you know unemployment. But don't just subsidize your industry too much. It's okay to do it somewhat, but not too much, because then the money just going to flow. The capitalists are just going to make as many factories, even if they're not profitable. But you're paying the cost anyway, so do not always subsidize your economy. So at this point, I'm pretty much just leaving it free reign. I'll subsidize a few things. Other than that. Whatever, Rhone is not obviously looking good. Valonia, Flanders, especially these places. Actually, they're not doing... Actually, <laughs> off-screen, there were over 100,000 of these people here and 20,000 clerks that were unemployed, so... We're actually doing pretty well, and obviously because of that, people probably want to leave. I just reloaded the game, so obviously they're not leaving yet. Uh, but overall, like, budget-wise, we're not doing too bad. I have maxed out tax on middle class, lower class. Uh, that's because we're socialists right now. And because uh, we're socialists, we have a limited... or the. We have a minimum amount of social spending, so I figured, you know what? You want social spending? I'll tax the living crap out of the middle class then. So it'll be, I'm not going to tax the upper class anymore. Max out budget for the army, uh, for land units, for construction, because I want to build things up. Max, that's so sad for max military spending, that's so sad. And max tariffs just because I want money. Okay, so enough with that. Wow, that's a lot of money. That is really quite a bit of money. 
hopefully we'll be making more money because we need to build ourselves up. And as you can see, actually, I had a lot of rebels off screen. <laughs> We're seventh in the world for military power now. Uh, actually, and the truth be told, I played this twice in 19, 1894. You're seeing the second attempt. The first attempt, I actually had communist rebels in about, I would say, 100. 20,000 rebels spawned in Paris, or, you know, eventually convened on Paris and basically took it out. So I reloaded the save and came back to what we're looking at now. So I still had communist rebels, don't get me wrong, we still have a lot of communist rebels. But with a big enough military here, we should do okay. I'm still building more units as well, seeing as we got, we're quite green up there, so. It is what it is. Let's see, we need to make sure we got at least, eh, I'm not going to cut that down. Uh, we need a horse over here as well. And you're not French, so we're okay to use you for infantry. And we have another army down here, which is pretty good. We've got another army down here. We need to make more armies around here as well. What is going on? Um, okay, well, I mean, technically, we can go through their lands, be connected, but don't take too long, okay? And before we go to war with China, I know I'm taking a while for this. We're actually connected over here, too, which actually might not be bad to create another army. Let's see. We can. One, uh, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, and then one more each. There you go, and there you go. Cool. Maybe we'll get another army here. I, I would really like that. And Mad oh, Madagascar should have one too. Let's see. We'll throw you guys here too. Uh, French guards, just in case. And go one, two, three, and then to go one, two, three, because we want to inflate our military score so this way people won't want to come kill us. Uh, let's see. Oh, you're not looking, not looking too bad. One, we need some hussars. So I'll be balanced and get some more infantry for now. Over here, we're going to grab one, two, one, two, just in case. Okay, anywhere else? Oh, yeah, okay, I should build another one here. Not bad. And obviously, we're going to war with China. And actually, okay, so off screen, I tried this before and then I reload the save because I didn't realize I made a mistake. But right now, we're going to war for Yunnan. We're not going to go to war for a, uh, a colonial or a negotiating an unequal treaty to get a treaty port. Because China, Qing China, is out of treaty port. So, we're going to go for Yunnan. I call it an allies. Italy formed. Ottoman Empire, Norway, as well as Spain. Carlos Spain, just because. Why not? The Dutch are still trying to take out Ethiopia. So, we'll see what happens. We should do relatively okay. So, finally, we're finally getting into the war. After seven minutes going in, I me talking, talking, talking. And I hope the budget will do. Oh, God, no. Okay. We're doing okay. <laughs> and we're doing economic responsibility, so. Not bad. Uh, Ethiopia, sure. I'll give you access for now. All right. Hopefully, no one else goes to war with us, and we really get inflated military scores. And it is a restless. A situation has pressed itself or presented itself in one of our colonies, where several prominent Pari capitalists have controlling interests in local trade. One of their ventures, a small local machine shop run by a French specialist, works on Western industrial standards well into the small hours of the morning. The sounds of machine shop is preventing anyone and everyone in the immediate vicinity of the shop to get much sleep at night, and this has become a symbol for many broader pent-up frustrations within our colonial rule. Uh, if the shop needs to operate at these hours, who are we to have opinions about that? I suppose we could drop by the Chamber of Commerce and have a chat with the boys. Eh, we'll do that one, why not? Not bad, not bad. Of course, we gotta get those guys too. Nice, Kuming. Head on in, see what it, you can do. Oh. Well, we're gonna surround them and get rid of them too, so if they wanna take that province, so be it. Alright, we'll take other provinces. Wenzhou, Wenzhou. Hopefully we get Yunnan, that'd be kind of nice. Not bad. Oh. Uh, sure, why not? I'm not going to read that. Tensions dissipate. Good. So we got all this stuff done. The next time we can do another tech would be 1900, so in a few years. Not bad. Industry. We've done electricity, of course. Vacuum tubes. Ooh. Let's see. We've done assembly line to make sure things, uh, factories cost less. Factory costs. And a combustion engine for tractors as well. Culture-wise, I'm still not doing my aesthetics or psychology stuff, so... Eh, whatever. And we've done economic responsibility, which is pretty good. We might do that one, even though we're not looking good to here either, so. Oh, that'll be done next year. Cool. Fire control systems, uh, it's only 4600, might as well, right? Cool. Anything else around here? You should be done relatively soon, and we should be done relatively soon here, too. I wonder if we could just march on in and just kind of cut them down to size. Well, they're losing 5,000 a day. Holy cow. A few thousand every day. Well, we kill off 35,000 of them. Actually, if you can follow them and just kill them. Okay, you just killed every single one of them off. 
without a, you killed 1100 without losing a single man they were just standing there waiting for you to kill them holy cow go back there if you can thank you come back over here if you can thank you can we piece them out yet is that i wonder anything else here no oh we can get reparations but it's not bad but we gotta cut down infamy oh that actually would not be bad 1.2 infamy for reparations uh you know 1.2 at this time, we're trying to cut down our infamy. Our military score isn't very good. Oh, uh, we're making enough money, anyways. I think we're just gonna do this. Now that's not bad. We actually made sure that they can't touch them over there, which isn't too shabby, I would say so myself. You guys go right there. You can stay there, uh, Hainan or wherever that is right now. You guys come over here, come hang out. You guys come over here, come hang out. I thought we did really, 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 really well there. Not bad, if I do say so myself. And what do you guys need? You guys need like an engineer, yeah, and a horse. So let's get a horse dude going. And up here we have, oh, Qingdao. Well, Qingdao is Qingdao, what do you expect? Um, other than that, before we fade and fade out, let's see. Is there anything we can do about this place? Railroads, yes please. And any more divisions we can make? Hopefully. Now let's wait until we get these guys done. And actually before we, oh wow, look at that. That is disgusting. The Japanese actually got, oh, they're fighting the, no, they're fighting the Russians. They're doing relatively okay. Cool. Uh, let's see, you guys are second in the world, you're four oh wow, fourteenth in the world, wow, what happened to these guys? Um, let's see, I want to show you guys this. Let's see, we've got, trying to get bureaucrats, trying to get bureaucrats, trying to get bureaucrats. I would like to make some of these guys more, you know, administratively correct. Oh, 100%, look at that, nice. Where else we, shall we send these bureaucrats? Oh, look at this. 100%, nice, good. We need more colonial points, and... It's not bad, not great, we're working down there, 100% over here, actually. And David of Panama, French, Irish, no assimilation, oh, that sucks. Uh, Flemish, I like that there's Flemish people here. But can we convert some of these people? I would love to be able to convert some of these people, but maybe eventually. Yeah, actually, 37%, 30, almost 38% French in Panama, I like that a lot. Uh, other areas that we need to make sure we have enough bureaucrats all over the place. Maybe here. Trying to get enough bureaucrats down here in Belgium or over here in Belgium. So it's been a little bit, bit of a pain in the butt over here. Oh, we can do that. So, and that's pretty much what we have currently. And here we are, everyone, ready to go to war with Java, which we might as well, right? It's April 13th. Let's have a good time. Now, they did civilize, but we're going to conquer them anyways. But we can build the Panama Canal, in which proposals for a canal across the Panama Ism must probably date back to the first discovery of the area. Nowhere is a strip of land that unites the North and South American continents thinner than here and... With the aid of modern engineering, we could shorten the travel time between the Atlantic and the Pacific by several days by building it. Cost between two to six million dollarinos. Today, we will start building the canal connecting the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Our engineers are ready, and a series of surveys of the area of the canal were done. The only thing left to do before we can start the construction is to find the budget of this colossal project. This promise is to be one of the massive undertaking, and when finished, it will be without a doubt one of the biggest human achievements for decades to come. Nice. It's going to cost a lot of money. But. Let's go deep into the dead hole as we go to war with some Javanese people. I love it. And almost 94% of the population can read. Now, obviously, we're going to be losing a lot of money, but we're making almost 45, or roughly 4,500 pounds a day, so I'm not too worried about the Dreyfus Affair. I, first? In 1894, a handwritten Bordeaux was, uh, was discovered by a French spy in the German embassy containing secret French military documents. Suspicion fell upon the Jewish captain, Alfred Dreyfus, and he was convicted by a court martial and sentenced to life imprisonment on Devil's Island. Dreyfus proposed, pro protested his incidents, but no avail. Let him rot? Full citizenship. No, he's innocent. Um, I don't know his prestige. Let him rock. Why not? Let's have a good time. Shall we? Shall we? Yes, we shall. Now, okay, so maybe it's about 4,000 pounds a day. Which, you know what? That's totally fine with me. As long as we're making a massive amount of money so that we can, uh... Oh, boy. This might not go very well for us. Uh, is that defense? Oh, it is jungle. Yeah, it's probably better to come down here. Uh... Now we're going straight in, why not? Their technology still isn't very good, so... Uh, no, actually, let's look at the wars. Right now, we have the Brits and the Portuguese trying to take out Aragon, which kind of sucks. Take out, yeah, Carlos, Spain, Ottomans, and the Netherlands, which I could have joined, but I just said no. And the Serbs are trying to beat up the, the Spanish, Bulgarians, and the Turks. So, we'll see what happens. Yeah, minus four is not very good, but then again, these guys are very uncivilized. Or, they're civilized, technically, but, man. Oh, look at these. Oh, they got a lot of rebels. I kind of like it. 
I kind of like it a lot. You're going to like the way we look. The town is dead. Uh, oh. Acquire Volta, huh? Cool. 94% of our population can read now. Let's take these guys out, destroy their ships. Maybe wait a month so we can get some more soldiers in here. And then... Oh, man, we need more colonial points, don't we? Oh, and, uh, let's double check this, too. I was just looking... Oh, man, that's not looking good. Well, we might just give it to the Germans since we have no more colonial points right now. Which really, really sucks. Also, Great Wars were unlocked, so... Yeah, we'll see about that. And we killed those ships off. And we're killing thousands by the day. Yeah, I can't really afford a war with the Germans yet, so you know what? You can have it if you want, for now. There we go. Good luck with that. I don't want to be... Wow, that gave us a thousand points? Holy crud. It doesn't really matter in the end. We're going to probably... Someone's going to be able to take that land, so... And this is about to break free from Dutch rule again, so... Very nice. Oh, did the Italians break their alliance with me? No, they did not. Okay, Austria-Hungary, um... Sure, why not? Why not? Austria-Hungary. Yeah, we're making some serious bank right now. There's no Great War yet, but we will have the first Great... Oh, maybe the first Great War. I want to make sure that we have a big enough army first of all, though. Oh, wow. That really sucks for you guys. Uh, for you guys, just come all here. I had to get rid of some of this, or, you know, make sure we can't set it all in one area just because of uh, the connection we had with Carlos Spain. So we'll have a lot of independent soldiers around here, hopefully. Yeah, there, there they are. You guys welcome that. They can... <laughs> well, I'm glad they took it, not me, because, uh, well, they got some militant socialists. Which is still okay with me. Anything else around here? Yes, you guys do. There you go. Anything down here? Uh, actually, do we have any soldiers down here? No, it's, it's sparsely populated. So, not too much, no. There you go. And any soldiers down here? No? Okay. Any soldiers over here? No, no, no. 12, 12. We're still making some soldiers down here, too, so that's fine. That's fine with me. Uh, since it's 1895, I don't want to get too much more infamy at this point because we need to take more colonies and such, so. I mean, whatever happens, if we go to war with two great powers versus two great powers, it's going to be deadly. So, the Royal Geographic Society has announced that when a war will be presented the first expedition that reaches the North Pole, we're going to pay the money even though we can't afford it. But then again, what country can? Especially once we're in debt of this much. Gold? Hey! Fjallnar Ostenstoa. Nice. Excellent. Are people leaving us? Yeah, they're definitely leaving us. Yeah, about, eh, that's not too bad. Overall, wow. These guys are doing a lot worse than me. Totally okay with me, though. Let's get rid of the undesirables, maybe? How much, how much population do we have? Nice. Uh, current population is 120 million. Beautiful. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Actually, can we build some Javan soldiers? Yes, one, two. Maybe get some Hussars and artillery, and then we grab an engineer. Yeah, get rid of this one. Engineer dog. Can't make planes yet, but that's okay. Let's head on over here. Let's make our ships repair and then figure out what we're going to do next. All right, everyone. So I haven't justified on anyone yet. And we're trying to cut down our debt or, you know, pay off the Panama Canal. And unfortunately, the British got over here. So we got to beat the snot out of the Brits. But eventually, once we get a few more, really, just more divisions. Um, and make a bigger navy and do a lot of other stuff. But regardless. Now, we can go to war with Mahadist Sudan. Which sounds like a lot of fun because... We can take some of the stuff. So, uh, what do we want from them? Effective occupation demand estate. Uh, force them to secede or cede territory that we have claims on according to Article 35 of the West African Conference, which delineates the doctrine of effective occupation. Which means we don't have any more infamy, to, or we can't get hit by any more infamy hits and such like that. So, let's see. What do they got? Oh, tropical wood in Khartoum in their capital. Oh, I wish I could take that. Oh, we got some down here. Sud is looking like the place we want to go to. Or No, that's, that's rubber. That's not tropical wood. Rubber me, rubber me. And let's go in, my friends. All right, because we have decreed it, you shall give us your lands. Ah, and look at how much money we're making. Oh, I haven't touched this at all. Oh, we have a little bit. Oh, wow, that's a lot of debt. But it's only because, like... We get a lot of debt because the game has to reset us back to zero. So we're going to go and do this as well. Thank you. Interest. That's a lot of interest. Just going to do that too. Thank you. 8,000 more. Thank you. I don't want to... Ooh, that's a, that's a lot of debt. 85,000. That's quite a bit. Which, I kind of wish that this cap was lifted at 10,000. Because at 10,000, once you have 10,000 you're, and if you're in debt, like you have to pay that off. Even though if there's ever like an update for Vicky 2. We still won with fewer casualties. Nice. Um... 
I really wish that you could just be like, okay, here's a debt amount. Like, you could see the actual number of the amount of debt that you owe. I wish that, that was in the game or something, but... Uh, conserv oh, go conservative ones. And also, we are not socialists anymore. We have conservative party. Uh, it is what it is, but... Yeah, I, I would like to see how much debt we have and how much we can pay it off and stuff like that. Maybe someday. Oh, maybe not. Just because Victoria 3 is a distant dream, but, you know, it is what it is. Are you still trying Ethiopia? You're still more Denmark. What the heck is going on down there? Also, can we go to war with these guys? Galati? No, that sucks. Uh, how about you guys? We do border you. Maj... Oh... I know what we're going to do next immediately. Beautiful. Look off quickly. We take these guys out. Where are these guys headed? They're heading up there. You guys go down here. It shouldn't take too long for this war, actually. So and We're doing open hearth furnaces, which is pretty nice. Our military is now the third largest in the world. Now, can we peace you out since we took your state? Actually, hold on. There we go. We'll just keep adding stuff on here. Nice. Just keep taking what we can and have a good time. And uh, where are they headed? Rabak? Don't mind if we do. Happy 1896, everyone. Hope you're having a tremendous year. Oh, they acquired Volta. Okay, they actually wiped peace out. Oh, they actually got Volta, huh? They're first in the world for military score. So that actually was really good for Spain since they were, I think, in defensive war and the Dutch lost Volta. Good. We don't like the Dutch here. Nice. More production, 1986. No, 1896. You have commerce. We probably want to. Oh, hold on. High seas battle fleet. Yes. Yes, we want as big as naval bases we can get up. Uh, Russia. We'll enjoy a good relationship with the Russians now. Both the Brits and us are allied to the Russians now, which is not terrible. Could probably be better, but it's not terrible. And I'm still just trying to make a bigger army. Just a thicky army, if we possibly can. Uh, not bad, not bad. You guys are still in our sphere of influence, which is good. And Friction Hoist. If you like to read about that, go right ahead. Uh, but more coal production? Sign us up. Now, who is this? Oh. Something flashed on my screen. I'm not sure what it was. Um, that's not good. Uh, hopefully, it's still recording. I hate for it not to record. Oh, the Brits. Uh, yeah, by the end of this campaign, we'll kill them off. I promise you that. Like, they ha they've had it too good for too long. Oh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to decline that for now. I don't know how much military score this is going to cost. So, let's take a look here. On the 23rd, we'll know. Man, we're making so much money. Like I said, I haven't even touched this. And we still have a good amount of social spending, too. So that's actually pretty darn decent. We got a lot of debt, but hey. If you ain't spending enough money, you aren't playing any playing any country cor quite correctly. So their population. Actually, Sudan might be a really good country to play someday. Because look at all these different uh, subcultures or accepted cultures that they have. That's a lot of different cultures, which is really, really good. Uh, 47, let's see if we add in another one. Sudan, thank you. And then, actually, Ethiopia doesn't really like us. Uh, what if we did this? Actually, we might just go to war with them straight up. Where is our... Oh, I forgot to move you guys around as well. Uh, get on the boats. And, darn it, the Dutch are doing well down there. Uh, I did take one of you guys up. Come back up to here first. And then we'll take the fleet and then send them back over to Africa. I need to get two fleets at, for transportation. Transportation fleets. Eindhoven? Oh, I guess we had rubbles in... Uh, the Dutch parts of our nation. Alright, whatever. Asab, why not? Yeah, this this group needs to definitely heal up. That's alright. Fourth in the role for industry. Fourth in the role for military. Second in the role for prestige. <sighs> if you don't love France, do you really love anybody? One, two, three, four. Pres oh my. Oh, we just took them all over. If you like to read about African farms and mines, this happens every time we take another piece of territory, but... Investment banks, farm sizes, not bad. And I'm still not signing the Geneva Convention. Alright, so we're going to wait for our ships to get down here. And we'll put some boys on a ship. And we'll head on over. And hopefully beat up some more Africans. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, you guys just kind of say there, we need, let's see, one more infantry. One, two, three, two more infantry. Two infantry. Let's see, two infantry, where are you? Oh, let's just build them where we just got the guys. Two infantry, thank you. Or is it three infantry? One, two, that's uh, two infantry, one engineer, and two more artillery pieces. Boom, de boom. I love Sudan. For the game to do it itself, and eh, I'll do it, whatever. They'll, I'll let them do it. Doesn't really matter to me. Awesome, awesome. Looking like a great army. Um, this is this is actually really cool. Like, as much as I would love to connect through here and have all of this under us, we might have that eventually. Um, 
I'd like to take Egypt too, but we'll see what happens. But this is not bad. Like, we're actually connecting to both sides of Africa. That's pretty darn decent, I'd say. Swedish Congo, man. So, well, it, it all defaulted to Swedish Congo just because, well, Belgium doesn't exist. For good reasons. Uh, Austria, I'm sure. Did you guys break our alliance? No, they didn't. Okay. All right, let's see what happens. You know, let's wait till the beginning of the month so we can lower infamy just slightly more. I kind of don't mind going back to socialist just because it, with pacifism, it helps you lower infamy just a little tiny bit more. Serb liberation of southern Ottoman. How are you guys losing to these guys? There's only 14 guys here. Bitter rain? Oh, uh, yeah. Good. Help them out as much as you can. They're still our subjects, and they still deserve at least a modicum of respect. Is there anyone else here? I mean, I would love to take Gelady. But they are uncivilized and not part of the thing. Mahadists? Oh, crap. Not Mahadists. Mahadists. I would, oh, we're, we're the most prestigious nation in the world. Oh, God. Rebels. Steel production up at plus 2%. Not bad. And we're doing, I, I love this little slider thing, or not slider thing, but what is this? The outlier? It's so good. It's so nice to have. Just so you can keep track of where everything's at. Nice. I'm not worried about that. Uh, can we put other people down? Uh, yeah, might as well. It doesn't cost us too much. So I was thinking about taking out Cuba as well, but we'll see what happens. These guys are doing pretty darn well anyway, so. And... Oh, I'm hottest. Oh, God. No, 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 no. And the ships are going to come out. And we beat... Oh, they instantly died. I um, mean, of course, if you have three battleships and they got, like, nothing, it's not really a fair contest. It is what it is. I'm half tempted to just take out Ethiopia. Actually, we'll probably do them next. It's going to take time. Oh, actually... Oh, no. Yep. All right. Well, we're at war anyways. Actually, do you need any more help with your armies? No, you're good. Well. Oh. Yeah, you guys. Well, you know, since we're here. And they have literally no military score. I'm not even going to look at this one. Let's see what happens. Alright. This is... I love colonizing. Hmm. Who doesn't? And if they, if they say they don't love colonizing, then they're liars. They're absolute liars. It's fun taking over, over other people when you, there's, like, no contest. Especially when you lost six billion, six million pounds. Oh, God, if it's six billion, that'd be insane. Well, it's time to unite our lands. Let's see if we come over here. Ah, I love it. There we go. First one's done. Anything over there? Nope. The Dutch aren't even down here. It's so sad. They can, these guys can't even mobilize. I could throw you guys over there, but we're still waiting for hopefully making a few more divisions around here. It's going to take forever to make, but that's alright. Uh, anything else? Nope. God dang, I love being prestigious. And they're done again over here. Just, I'm not sure what else to say. It's a beautiful thing, my friends. It's, it's kind of costly just because, you know, it costs a lot to... Or the tri there's a lot of attrition. Tigre? I mean, there's no infamy hit. I'll take it. That's really... It, it would really suck right now if you're Ethiopian, though. I say he plays Ethiopia just for themselves. Seems like a fun nation to play as, though. So much money. But not really. A thousand... Over a thousand score for... That's not bad. Population currently? 133 gazillion. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. And you guys are almost done, too. Sidomo. Sidamo. Nice. Oh, more precious metals output. Yes, more money, please. And steel production output. Very nice. Let's see, debt. Ah, that's quite a bit. Oh, there goes Ethiopia. Can I actually add on any more? <laughs> we just cut the Danish out of that. Ah, that's so nice. But Denmark, I've got to get rid of Denmark. I'm sorry, man. No, I'm not. Uh, let's see. They are not in the German sphere. Uh, let's see. I mean, this is a sphere map mode. 
We could risk it. Oh, but we're too high, high, too high relations. And we'll do African farms and minorinos. Geneva Convention. That's more like Geneva Suggestion. <laughs> we got 0.4 pounds. Oh, no, 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 no. Happy 1897, my friends, right now. Well, we actually had the same war goal against Gelody. It didn't pop up earlier, but I guess now we do. So let's go in war. Go to war. And we finally almost have the high seas fleet as well, which is a beautiful thing to have. And this army is filled with nothing but commies and socialists. Which, I might just delete this army once we're done here, just because... I don't want to have a lot of commies and socialists within my ranks, but, you know, you never know. Now, we can't even afford the high seas fleet because we're trying to pay off like, more stuff. It is 97, so factory input tax... Ooh, what does that mean? Minus 1% versus plus 1%. I'm not really sure what that means. Uh, I should really look that up. Maybe someone in the comments can like, explain it to us, maybe? That'd be great. Man, we're even making more money. Oh my gosh. I haven't done anything else here either. That's exactly the same thing. Like, we're not spending anything on our military, basically. At least for military spending. National stockpile, yes. And some of these aren't too bad. Oh my goodness, the tariffs. Um, yeah, maybe once we're done, like, losing 6 million pounds, then maybe I will, like, lower tariffs, probably. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I wonder if there's anyone else we can take out that's not been taken over yet. We, you know, almost 92% of our population can read. Eight, and they couldn't make it out. They died before then. And we're also trying to help repair some of these ships as well, which would be a probably a good thing. They're mostly transport that needs repairs, but hey, whatever. And we bought 14 infamy. Not bad. Okay, you guys served your role. Goodbye. Yeah, that's just... Mm, I don't know, man. Let's take a look over here. Oh, our guys are looking not too bad. Let's grab all y'all. Grab you as well. Grab all three of you, too. And you come down here. I should probably make a stack of 60,000 here somewhere. Uh, there's, well, technically we combine them, but let's get down there, over there first. And you guys need two infantry, eh? Uh, two infantry, huh? Well, let's make two more of them. Oh, actually, if that's a case. And then we'll make one here. Nice. Dutch infantry. Actually, can we piece them out? Yeah, that'd be kind of nice if we could. No, can we add another war goal? We could add reparations, but now nah, we good for now. We're gonna have to wait for this one then. Ah, oh, that sucks. We had to wait an entire month. But that's right. We have Trinitrotoloon. Cool. Or TNT. Also, it is. Trinitrotoloon. Interesting. It first prepared in 1863 by German chemist Julius Velbrand. It was originally used a yellow dye. That's actually really cool. I will never be able to pronounce that ever again unless I actually see the word, but hey. Not bad. Look at this. We have a massive of amount of Africa now. I'm loving this. You know, last episode, I love Southeast Asia. And actually, how many... We've got a lot of socials. Holy crap. But now we got so much of Africa. We can't even do this either, huh? Lap rating's too low. Um, I think at this point, Africa is pretty much filled to the brim with people. So... There's no more areas in Africa, so we might just go to war with Denmark. Actually, we might go to war with Cuba. I like Cuba. They got a lot of population down there. At Colombia is just kind of a mess. A bunch of reactionaries, but we'll see. And now, it's finally time to take out a country that really, probably, shouldn't exist. Now, they're not going to be hopefully too tough, but we do want Danish North Somalia, which is one of the rare times I'm actually going to go to war with the De Danish. I almost said Denmarkans. But I think that's not quite right, so probably Danish. Hopefully they don't th throw soldiers up in Alborg. There we go. We can probably get them pretty quickly. Oh, hello. And also, one thing that happened to us off-screen is that uh, we no longer have Austria-Hungary. They don't exist anymore. We have the Danubian Federation, which is the first time I've ever seen Austria-Hungary actually become this nation. Which is kind of wild, actually. Look at all. they got Hungarian, Czechs, Polish, Slovaks, and so, of course South Germans. And the second Boer War. Wait. We have two Boer Wars going on at the same time. Alright, cool. Okay, they're throwing in more... I love defense. We're losing a few guys ourselves. Oh, this is, ah, that's nice, but ours is zero as well. Okay, so they're mobilizing for this. And I'm trying to get more uh, stuff done for our army. That's, if there's anything else we can do that's really quick, let's do some realism. Just because it's almost 1898, and we might get some more tech done too. Intervene eventually. eventually. Uh, William Cunningham. A little more prestige, very nice, very nice. And I can't wait till the beginning of the 20th century to see what would happen. Oh, Italy. Sure, why not? 
I don't really care who we ally with. All that matters to me in the... Okay, we might need another army for this, just in, just in case. Just to be safe. We're gonna call another guy. Actually, off screen right before I started re-recording. Um, we actually had a... Oh, Commons Rebellion. Look at that. We're actually looking pretty good here. So we actually might be able to pay off some of our loans, finally. Wow, that's actually... That was, that was extremely quickly. That had to happen in which we were able to, like, get rid of our debt. Six million pounds of debt. That's... You know what? Sometimes just don't just don't subsidize your industry. Lesson learned. Lesson definitely learned. And we're throwing in more soldiers. Happy 1898. Now, as you can tell, this video is kind of a bit longer than most normally, just because we can get a lot of things done here. Uh, go ahead and just go in, in there as well. I will send you guys actually down to uh, stay there. Actually, there you go. There, there's so few guys there that probably won't even matter too much for defense. So there you go. We lost 700 versus 4200. 40, so that actually might be enough already. Yep. Literally one military score, not too bad. There we go. We got what I wanted. Which is a great, great thing. Just because border gore is a real issue, man. There's like that is a lot of border a lot of lag, a little bit it's a little bit of lag. That is not bad. Oh, the Spanish finally got down here too. Cool. Now things are whole. Now we gotta take up British Kenya. Um, let's see. What's next? Uh, Morocco might actually be Oh, they're civilized now. No matter, that means we can conquest them, right? Well, here we are in January 3rd, 1899. In which right now, you can see we've got a couple of rebels here. A lot of commies rose up, which... It's kind of disappointing, to be honest with you. I don't like all these commies here. But, you know, it is what it is. We have our acquired state, Casas Bella, against... Or for Medikesh, which we'll do it immediately. And also, but more importantly... Oh, let's go and do that as well. You know, do you want to call in any allies? Eh, we'll call everyone in, because we can. Uh, the Dutch actually have had militant socialists enforce their demands on them, which is, here we go, look at that. They also perceive some plurality, the new socialist regime, not bad. Now, we might go to war with them next, just because there's no one around there, and I really want to at least get Maastricht, just so it looks a little better. It doesn't make any sense why they still are independent, but whatever. And, oh, beautiful. Also, Italy and the Danube Federation decided to go to, oh, go to war with each other, um, and I get, did they peace out already? Yeah, they already must have already pieced out. So I'm not sure who won. I think Italy did, just because these guys have all the rebels now. But yeah, we, I'm still allies with both of them. So they both wanted me to come to the war, but you know what? Nah, I didn't feel like it. Not bad, not bad. Okay, then. It shouldn't take too much to get these guys done. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Lazai Fair? Sure, why not? There. Come on in and kill them off. I know it's mountains, but it shouldn't take too long to find them in. Be with them out. And we're trying to build some level 5 naval bases. Yeah, we've got a lot of consciousness. Just because of infamy, huh? Oh, we had... Oh, now we're socialists. Alright then. Well, we're still going to tax the crap out of the poor people. If you want that, then there we go. Because social spending... Well, because military spending is so low now. Um, I keep forgetting that we're on max uh, spending for this, too. I don't think we have enough time for this, do we? No, we don't. We have... oh, actually, we got enough score, technically. Yeah, Second Bowl War still going on. Oh, actually, most people like us. Oh, you hate the Germans, of course. Uh, would you like an alliance? No, we'll increase relations first. And even Federation, Italy, of course, they both love us. And we do enjoy a good Russian from time to time, so not bad. Not bad. I'm trying to prove our military more. Just, oh, pay your oh, money? Why not? Yeah, at this point, I'm just going to try to focus on the military. Because I we do want to go to war and cause the first great war. There we go. Not bad. Look at that. Casablanca? Nice. I mean, I could have gone to war with Spain, I suppose, but eh, at this point, I'm not really interested in taking out Spain too much. Uh, oh, Agadir, there you go. Costs a lot of money, but that's okay. The socialists wanted to become part of the rulers here, and that's okay with me. Actually, do we have a naval port around here? Oh, it is already level one, nice. And I can do that too, because why not? And we'll do some more African farms and mines. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We're still a republic. We have limited citizenship, which is a little disappointing. We can't force anything else. Royalist, uh, uh, I mean, I guess technically. Yeah, we we are Republican Democratique. But that does help with infamy, which will be very nice once we win a great hello. Oh, the Italians are helping us out. Um You guys Would you like to help out maybe? We still got rebels around here. Let's see if we go back that way. There you go, and go back that way. Good luck, good luck. 
And so here we are at after we've killed off a lot of a lot of rebels. But anyways, Houseman's renovations, which we will end with currently. The Houseman plan was a project for the modernization of the urban renewal of Paris, created, carried out between 1852 and 1870. The project was initiated after a period of rapid urban growth and development, as the old city center of Paris had proven itself incapable of meeting the infrastructure demands of a growing city. Long open boulevards, championed by Houseman, have remained defining characteristics of Paris's street layout ever since. Their farms are estimated to cost us 50,000 pounds, paid now or in installments moments which we lose some money get some more life rating why not very nice but that's going to conclude today's episode just because right now we are currently with the socialist party which we have empty military which really hurts our ability to uh basically go to war so we'll see what happens hopefully we can go ahead and go to war some other people these guys are still struggling with japanese people are here what's going on in the world Oh, uh, nothing. No wars. But regardless, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, as maybe we'll end up in a great war. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.